Welcome to another tutorial by webnewbie.com. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use the properties panel. And to do so, I've already placed an image on here inside a layer, and I've placed an image inside a table. But we're going to get to those next. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, if you click on just your main page here, uh, go into your page properties. Uh, you can change the background color of your main page uh, right here. And if I click apply, it'll change. Uh, but we don't want that color. So we're going to get rid of that, actually. I can go into browse image and I can put a background image there. Let's make it a striped image. Uh, and click apply there. I've got a striped image now. It looks familiar if you've been to my web page. Uh, you can change the text color, the size of the text, the font to the text. Um, you can change the margins. Um, tons of things you can do in here. Uh, the next thing I'm going to show you in this page property section is the links here. Uh, you can change again the font the size and if you have a hyperlink uh, you can change the hyperlink color. Uh, any, any text you make a hyperlink will change to this color. Uh, after you visit one of those hyperlinks it will change to that color. And once your mouse rolls over the hyperlink it will change to that color. And uh, active links will change to that color and then you can also change the style as well always underline your hyperlinks never underline show underline only on the rollover and hide the underline completely on the rollover that is what I was going to show you on the page properties now uh, let me go back to appearance here and hit apply so I can get rid of that so we can see these better the next thing you want to look at is under your properties panel and the main thing. You can do most of that stuff here as well. Uh, changing your font, your style, your size, your color, bold it, italicize it, align it, bulletize it, um, indent it, and add your hyperlink right here. So now if I go over to my layer and I click on my layer, if you've watched my layer video then you might have a better understanding of what I'm going to talk about next. If you haven't seen my layer video you might want to go back and watch that or watch it afterwards so you know what I'm doing down here along with my tables video uh, tutorial also when I get into that um, it'll give you a better understanding after you watch those. So first thing you can do is you can take this and I've named my layer footer uh, I'm going to, let's say I want to make it, put it on the left there. I'm going to move it over to the left. Um, let's say I want to put it at the top. Put it on the top, which I don't really want to do because it's covering up my other one. Uh, you can change the width. I can change the height. I can change, you know, where it is in my stack uh, with the Z index, one, two, three, whatever. And if I don't want to put this image, which I drag and dropped in there, I can actually... Let's delete that. And now I would like to put a background image in there. Uh, we'll put my footer in there like that. It'll show the background image. I just have to resize it to fit the right size. And as you can see right now, I've got it on repeat. Uh, if you watch my layers video uh, tutorial, I'll show you how to get rid of that repeat so you don't have to just resize it. It can be all the way down like this, and there won't be another one there. It will not repeat. So there it is for the layer on the page properties panel. So let's go to the table here. I've got my logo in this table. Uh, let's say I want to add another column. I just put another column there and voila. I've got another column. And let's say I want to add six rows. And voila. I've got six rows. Now I can add different things in each one of these different columns and rows on this table. I'm going to change the width here. Let's make it 950. Boom. It's 950. Uh, you can change, you know, the cell padding, the cell spacing, border color if you want a border on this table, um, background color if you want a background on this table, um, make it pink there, background image, you can place an image back there as well, like the footer image, and there it is. You can align it, you can add, you know, the thickness of the border that you want, let's make it five. Now you can see this border here. Many different things you can do in this properties panel. This is where most of your changes are going to take place, whether it be in the properties panel down here or your sidebar panels over here. Um, but 
there you have it. There's your properties panel on a basic look. Uh, to get into more advanced, uh, you'll probably have to check somewhere else because these are web newbie. These are for newbies. So if you're a newbie, a beginner, this is perfect for you. You get to learn how to use the properties panel. Go check out webnewbie.com and see more tutorials by me on that webpage. And thanks for watching.